Hi guys, today I'm going to be talking about my favorite body and face bronzing and tanning products for spring summer 2015. Most of you know I actually live in Sydney so I'm in the depths of winter now but honestly winter in Sydney it's not the same as winter everywhere else. Most of my audience is in the northern hemisphere either between the states and the UK and spread all over Europe so uh, I know that you're coming into spring and summer, so I thought I would put this little video together recommending some of my top picks. I have them broken into different categories. So we've got instant tan, gradual tan, uh, just a normal developing tan, face tan, and bronzers. I think that's everything. Actually, before we get straight into it, I just wanna put in a disclaimer, no hate on pale girls or boys. I am super duper pale myself and 90% of the time I don't actually wear tan. So I'm not ashamed of pale skin. I think of false tan as just another extension of makeup. It's just another way that you can kind of play with your look and you know change up the way you look and give yourself a bit of a makeover. So I'm gonna do instant tans first and these are probably the tans that I do use most frequently when I tan because I'm super lazy and I don't really like sitting around waiting on false tans to develop. So the first one I've already talked about on my YouTube channel here and also on my blog and it is the Saint Tropez instant tan. This is really really easy to use it's just like a it's basically makeup for your body it's a lotion kind of gel cream consistency you squelch it onto a mitt and rub it all over your body let it dry for about five minutes before you get dressed and you're done. There's no developing time. You don't have to wait for anything. The color that you apply is the color that you will be and then it washes off in the shower. So it's just for the day or for the night. It's great for kind of last minute when you didn't really know you wanted to wear tan or you know it's a beautiful day and you want to put on a dress and your legs are like super duper white and you just want to take the edge off. This is a great product for that. And uh, one criticism is the fragrance is very, very strong. It doesn't irritate my skin, but I can imagine if you had more sensitive skin, this might be an issue. Um, the color is beautiful. It's just very natural, very golden kind of color and it doesn't transfer and it is kind of splash proof. So if you get caught in the rain or, you know, if you spill water on your arm or something, it's not going to come off. You do actually need soap and water to get it off. And it's relatively inexpensive. I actually have two instant tans just because they are that category of tan that I used most often when I do use tan. And these two are quite interchangeable in my eyes. And this one is the Model Co One Night Tan wash off instant bronze mousse. So it is a mousse. That is the one major difference between this um, mousse. To be honest, I'm not sure if it makes it easier or more difficult. It is very easy to put on. I would say that it dries quicker than the Saint Tropez one. So you don't have to kind of stand around for as long waiting on it to dry and it doesn't smell as strong. So for those of you with more sensitive noses or sensitive skin, this might be a better option. Color is very similar maybe a little bit more brown and not as golden, like a more red brown, if that makes sense. Doesn't transfer, completely waterproof, comes off in the shower. In my eyes, totally interchangeable. If they were sold out of that, I'd get this. If they were sold out of that, I'd get this. So both great options. So next I have a false tan for the face. And this one is the Pure Bronze Face Tan. Um, yeah, ultra light feel facial tanner. So this, oh, this is gorgeous. I actually talked about the body version of this the last time I talked about uh, tanning products in a video and these are beautiful because they've got virgin coconut oil in them and they smell like summer holidays don't you hate that about tanning products I don't think that the tan ingredients in it are strong enough to really give you a smell of tan on your face and it is definitely a gradual tanner it's not like you put it on your face at night and you wake up and you're like an umpa lumpa it is very very gradual um, but it is just a really nice easy way to put a bit of color on your face I don't really like to use instant tans on my face so if I know I'm going to be tanning I'll use something like this because it is specifically designed for the face it doesn't break me out it's not too greasy or oily it's very light very easy to put on and um yeah just that smell it smells amazing for a gradual tanner for my body I talked about this in my April favorites it is the tan organic self tanning oil this stuff is really, really impressive. I've used lots of gradual tanners, like the Dove one, the Johnson & Johnson one. I don't even think they still make that anymore. The body version of this one, heaps and heaps of them. And this has definitely become my favorite. It's an oil, it's a dry oil, so it absorbs very quickly onto the skin. It's not sticky, it's not greasy, it doesn't ball. Um, you can get dressed pretty much straight away afterwards. There's actually no color at all when you put it on, but I have yet to make a mistake with it. I haven't 
I haven't been able to make it look streaky or anything. It always goes on very, very evenly. And the color is actually surprisingly strong. It's stronger than any other gradual tan I've used. In fact, I would definitely compare this to the depth of color I get from regular false tans, but it is a million times easier to use. You don't need to use a mitt, so you can just use your hands, wash your hands straight away afterwards. What I do is put it on with my hands, wash my hands straight away, and then put a, um, hand cream on and I find that avoids getting like you know when you get those super dark bits in between your fingers and in your knuckles and stuff it just helps to make it look a bit more even on your hands and this kind of telltale area here it's got an eco search it's completely organic bottle is glass lid is wood and it's an Irish brand which you know makes me feel quite proud and I feel like I should be supporting you know small Irish companies like this so I feel like you should too it's newly available in Australia I saw it in Meyer the last time I was in there so I know you can definitely get it in Meyer and um, they have free shipping within Australia as well so yay and then for a full-on actual developing tan I would use this when I know I want to have a stronger color in my tan and something that's gonna last for a few days I really do like the loving tan deluxe bronzing mousse I have it in the medium color and I've lost the lid. I lost the lid to this one and to this one. I can't seem to keep track of lids. Um, but this one is great. Again, it's a mousse. Again, mousses tend to dry very quickly on your skin. So you can kind of, you know, go about your day a little bit quicker. And the color that you get is just a really lovely golden olive tone. It's not too red. It's not too orange. It's not too yellow. It's a very convincing false tan. And then finally for the face bronzers, I thought I would include some bronzers in this. I have two new products and the first one I have been using in a lot of my recent videos. It is the Model Co bronzer. It is a really lovely, quite an olivey golden there's quite a bit of yellow gold going through this and it is a little bit shimmery so probably for most people this would be more of a nighttime bronzer but it is like buttery silky soft very very easy to blend and really pigmented so you don't really need to use an awful lot of of it at a time and i am just i love the packaging i love the pink i think that's very summery but the giant mirror that has fingerprints all over it and it's like it's a huge bronzer and then finally another bronzer with a slightly different tone this is the CC Plus Radiance Ombre Bronzer by It Cosmetics. So this is a an ombre bronzer that goes from a really dark bronze color up to kind of a champagne pearlized highlight color. So this is quite shiny on the skin. It's beautiful on the skin. It makes it actually has a really wet look on the skin. But the dark bronzer here is almost a cool brown. So it's not at all like a golden yellow color like the Model Co one, if I can open it with one hand. I'm not sure if you can really see much of a difference on camera there, but this is definitely not as yellow. So I feel like something like this would be a great bronzer for somebody that has olive or sallow undertones in their skin, and you don't wanna add any more yellow or golden tones to your skin because you already have a lot you have that in abundance so something like this will be able to give you that depth of color and that sun-kissed kind of look and even contouring to an extent without adding that yellow tone and um, it's just beautiful look at the size of it too and I, I just love that you have that highlight in there too that all mixed together makes a beautiful like um decolletage kind of body finisher and they are my top picks for tanning and bronzing products for this spring summer so I hope there's something in there that you like the look of and maybe you want to try yourself if you did enjoy this video don't forget to give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe I put out videos every Monday and Friday although thank you so much for watching guys I really do appreciate and we'll see you very soon bye Hi guys, today I am going to be showing you how to do this look, which is a very kind of modern, chic way, very simple way, to wear a bright red, tomato red lip. So I took inspiration from Diane Kruger's makeup from this year's Met Gala, and it's not a, like an identical copying, I just kind of took inspiration from it, but I think it's just a really, it's a great look to have in your makeup repertoire.